I'm going to do a quick video on agitating film because uh, I've heard a lot of confusion about it and a lot of people want to know exactly how to do it. Uh, unfortunately, when you do read correct instructions in data sheets, uh, different film manufacturers actually give you different instructions because there isn't just one way to agitate. You just need to get good, consistent results. So once you get good results, you have your own process for agitation and when you always repeat that, you will always know that you've excluded agitation as a possible cause of film faults or errors. Ilford, I believe, says something like agitate for 10 seconds every minute. Uh, Kodak says, I believe, agitate continuously through the first minute and then every 30 seconds, which is more like the system I adopt. Continuous agitation for the first minute and then two inversions every 30 seconds. And I do that whether I use uh, regular developers or pyro as well. Here's a sample of damaged film I found in the darkroom. I'm going to speculate what caused the damage to this film, which I found uh, by attempting to reenact it with this tank. Now, I think there was early in the development, probably within the first minute, there was it was standing for too long. Uh, toxins and byproducts were building up on the film, and then the agitation was overly passive. I have seen people develop like this, very lazy inversions, which probably don't apply agitation to the entire film and if you're not rotating and you're too gentle the developer only moves back and forth across the film and so you create a pattern, a stain pattern. I believe it's far superior to do a sharp inversion with a full tank and have randomly scattered bubbles moving the solution in a random non-patternous fashion. I've cut some holes in this daylight tank and it really is a daylight tank now, you can see straight through it. I'm going to do some agitation and we'll be able to see what the fluid's doing inside. Now daylight tanks generally have instructions on the bottom suggesting how much uh, volume developer you need to develop your film and here this one says 325 cc's will develop a roll of 35 mil. I have one spool for 35 mil film in there. I've rounded up just slightly, it's closer to 350 mil. It's just enough fluid. A lot of advanced books recommend not to use the minimum amount of um, developer because aggressive agitation causes excessive development, excessive grain, excessive speed of development. And it's just it's just brutal. It's like developers having a car accident. Okay, I'll try. Now here's what I prefer to do, the um, tank's about full, it's got nearly 700 mil of solution in there. So a small amount of air is enough to move the solution when you agitate. Now even though a lot of instructions will suggest you don't have to do a minute of continuous agitation at the start of your development, I find that I have no problems of uneven development with it and it tends to prevent the uh, worst thing that can happen if you under agitate, which is bromide streaking when uh, bromide is a byproduct of development which can stain your film in the direction of your rotation 